What is going on? Caleb with the Drone Dojo here. Wapsh. And in this video, we're gonna do some cool stuff. All right, let's get excited. Yeah! We're gonna take one of these rovers here, utilize that camera, and show you how to precision park it on an Aruco marker. And then there's another cool thing you can do with this script in this project, which is take that same Aruco marker, only now you're walking with it. So there's sort of a, a follow me element of this project where you're carrying the QR code and the rover keeps chasing after it. All right, we are out in the field. We're gonna test that precision parking script. Let's see if we can turn this around here. Oh, beautiful technology. We got in the right Buster. Wait, not Buster, sorry, Wally. And he's gonna use this camera to precision park at that Aruco marker over there. We're running this script at uh, 720p. With that Jetson Nano on there, you can run it um, even at 1080p, but I ran the calibration at 720p, so that's what we're gonna do here. So, let's check this out. I'm gonna get on the computadora. And I am already SSH'd in. I'm gonna run Precision Parking, Aruco. And then we'll see what she does. Heard the beep, so it's now armed. And it's rolling at about 0.5 meters per second. Again, this is a precision parking script, so when you're parking, you're about done with the mission, so we don't need to be going fast. Yeah, it locked onto that target from about 20 yards away. And once it gets within a meter, it'll slow down. There it is and it'll stop automatically. And there we have Sally over there. What up, what up girl? Sally and Wally. So there we're coming. I believe in you, Wally. Look like a Mars rover. And then once again, once it detects under one meter, it disarms and parks itself. So yeah, that's basically it. Pretty simple script, but can be useful for different autonomous applications. So there is a different way you can use that script. So if you want to precision park it, obviously you're going to have that marker on the ground somewhere where you want the rover to park. But if you're carrying the marker and you're walking with the marker, or say you have it on a shirt or something, the rover will just keep stalking you, or following you. Hopefully he's not a stalker, but anyways, that will go a little something like this. This is Caleb Knoxville, and this is the rover stalker. All right, so he beeped, looking for the marker. Didn't find it, not moving. Sorry about that prank, bro. Nothing there, you idiot. Anyways, I got the marker here, so I'm gonna be walking with that now. Oh, there we go. Hey, flip this way, camera. What are you doing to me? Ah! All right, so Wally sees this marker, and as long as he never gets within one meter, he's gonna forever follow me. That's the carrot on the stick, the old carrot on the stick. This should be carrot on a stick dot pie. Oh God, he's gaining on me, haha, <laughs> lost ya. So it stops when it doesn't see the marker. Gotta get back within view. And yeah, I can turn a little bit and he'll follow me. I can get really far away. That's beautiful. Beauty. Add a girl.
All right, now if you found that project interesting, it looks like something that you want to do, you want to dabble with that, then I have great news for you. Great news. This project is in our Drone Dojo project library. If you don't know what that is, it's essentially Netflix for robotics projects. So what does that mean? Well, you click in the tile of the project you want to perform, and then it's essentially the cookbook of how to accomplish that project on that page. Everything from the code you need, um, the repo that you need to download, the custom private repos you'll have access to, um, the dependencies you need to install, uh, the community you can have to ask questions to if you have any hiccups along the way, um, any required hardware you may need. All of that is right there on the project library. And yeah, so if you're interested in this precision parking or follow me with the OpenCV uh, computer vision Aruko stuff, go ahead and check out the link somewhere on this post, whatever platform we're on, and uh, check out Blue Belt membership. And once you're a member, you have access to all those projects and a, a ton of other perks that are on the Blue Belt membership. So if you have any questions, let me know. So with that, I will see you in the project library.